Okay, Capcom, I really think we need to talk. I love Resident Evil 4, the remake. I really enjoy playing this, but we have two issues with this game and I think you need to fix this immediately. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about Resident Evil 4 and the two, in my opinion, most annoying issues with this game and we have to talk about two different platforms actually because we have to talk about PlayStation which is this one and Xbox Series because yeah we have one issue on the PlayStation 5 and another issue on the Xbox Series. Resident Evil. But let's start this video with something positive. I love the HDR implementation in Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC. It's on a very high level. I, I think in terms of HDR, this is almost spot on, almost perfect. We have maybe a little bit of crushed blacks, maybe shadow details can be a little bit better in certain scenarios or areas, but this right now, this looks just stunning. On my LG G2, maximum peak brightness is around 1000 nits and yeah, I mean, come on, this looks amazing. We have great HDR effects in this game, but we have also two major issues in this game, which I think you need to fix immediately. We have one major issue on the PlayStation 5, image quality, and we have one major issue, which is actually even worse on the Xbox series, controls. Capcom, you need to fix that. And I have to admit, when I compared Resident Evil on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series X, I couldn't find a big difference in terms of controls. I mean, I prefer the Edge controller here from the PlayStation 5 over the Elite controller, which is in my other room, okay. But anyway, there was not much of a difference, but this is also most likely because I'm focusing on image quality, picture quality, okay. After I learned that there is a difference in terms of controls, because more and more people mentioned this actually, I compared this and yes, there is a big difference in terms of controls, in terms of the dead zone from the, from the controller. But I have to say, I can get used to it, okay? To be very honest, I can get used to it, maybe some people not. And also we have to say on the Elite 2, I think you can actually adjust the dead zone. So it's not a big problem for some people, but I can understand that yeah, most of the people, they don't own a Elite 2 controller. They have, of course, issues because the dead zone, and there was the video from Digital Foundry, I think it was, dead zone on the, um, yeah, on the Xbox Series X or Xbox Series version is like terrible. But I have to say, I didn't notice this at all when I compared the demo version. I don't know why, but most likely because I focused on the image quality. But again, after I did, I recompared it, is this actually correct English? I don't think so. But anyway, after I compared the demo version again, or I compared Resident Evil, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X in terms of controls, yes, there is a big difference. And there is, that's, let's say like this, that's maybe a big problem for many, many people. So Capcom, Capcom, please fix this now. And now let's talk about the image quality on the PlayStation 5. What the hell is going on? It looks worse compared to the Xbox Series X version. And don't tell me the PlayStation 5 is not powerful enough. <laughs> don't give me this crap, okay? Because we have games like Ratchet and Clank and after, I think, 20 patches, Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5 is, in my opinion, one of the best looking open world games, period, okay? So PlayStation 5 is more than powerful enough than to play this game in in a perfect picture quality. So what is going on? And my question is actually, what is going on with your quality control? Because don't tell me that no one tested this game on the Xbox Series X and on the PlayStation 5 and found, eh, there's something off, maybe we need to look into this. But it looks like no one is doing or no one is taking quality control series anymore. Are you really, you know, I, I paid $80 well, $89 Australian dollars for this game on the PlayStation 5. And even I knew that there is an issue with the image quality, I prefer the PlayStation 5 version because of the controller, okay? That's how it is. But I am expecting that you fix the image quality. I like to have the same experience in terms of picture image quality than on the Xbox Series X. That's not too much to ask because PlayStation 5 is more than powerful enough 
to deliver a great experience. Okay, I think that's enough complaining for one video, but I really don't understand why is this happening all the time. I mean, it took me, I think, I don't know how many videos I, I don't know how many videos I actually made for Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5 until they finally fixed the performance mode. And I'm not saying they fixed it because I made the videos, no, uh, for sure not. But I can do the same here. If you want this Capcom, I'm starting doing videos for each patch and I'm checking if you resolve the image quality on the PlayStation 5 and the controller issue on the Xbox because in my opinion, so first of all, the controller issue on the Xbox, this should be, this should be a fix like this, really. The image quality maybe, there's a little bit more behind, but even in Horizon Forbidden West, it was terrible. It was terrible, not, not on the, this is not the same level. This is really good compared to Horizon Forbidden West in the early stage, but they fixed it. And now it's one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 5, or maybe even in general right now, when we're talking about open world games, okay? This has to be fixed. Okay, right now this looks really good, but as soon you have a little bit of yeah, fine edges and whatever. Wow, this was bright. So something like that, you know, the shimmering. Here it's not too bad, but this has to be fixed, okay? It's really, really not a good, how should I say? Um, yeah, it, it, it's not nice, okay, to play in a worse quality compared to other versions. And I played the PC version, of course, in terms of the demo version and on my system, it runs perfectly. And right now, to be very honest, I regret a little bit why I, or because I, yeah, I got the, the PlayStation 5 version. I regret it a little bit, to be very honest, because I have a system which can run this game in 4K around 60, 70 frames per second and with a much better image quality. But as always, I don't know why I'm getting this for PlayStation 5 because, yeah, I like the controller. Of course, I can connect it to the PC as well. But anyway, that's it. Anyway, so Capcom, do me, be, do me a favor, please. Fix it in the next patch and I will not bother you with videos, okay? Thank you for watching.